Click the first link in the description for the best Ask Reddit content. Today I fucked up offering the Uber Eats sky a foot rub. So a few hours ago I'm sitting at my desk at home, texting with this girl I like through iMessage. Also using my phone, and have ordered food. Girl texts about being sore after a long day. Uber Eats guy texts me with updates. Tell him to not lock his bike, we'll meet him outside. Then I send a cute comfort message to the girl. Then my phone lights up with an or thanks text from the Uber guy which is weird but whatever. 10 minutes later out front this guy pulls up on his bike and says I'm here for the foot drop, and I chuckle but then what did you say? He repeats it, laughing. Wait, I ask if I sent him something about a foot drop. Yup he says, handing me my food, still chuckling. Oh shit, oh man I'm also texting with this girl. Lol yeah I figured congrats man haha. Cracking up, go back inside. MFW I check the text thread on my phone. Shout out to Tyrone W Uber Eats. Too long didn't read, texted sweet nothings to the Uber Eats guy instead of to the girl. Uber guy arrives, expecting a foot rub. But did you rub his feet? I mean, clearly. He brought me chicken, I'm not some savage. Well at least you didn't tease the delivery guy with some butt flash. I strongly suspect he left the job or saw it was my order and cancelled. Haven't seen him since. Wistful, dramatic sigh. Man, you avoided be sent to creep asterisks. Uber Eats saves the day again. Omg that is hilarious, my friend got a back rub from an Uber Eats guy. R slash today I fucked up and also r slash creepy asterisks. Today I fucked up by underestimating flex tape. This all happened this morning and I still am questioning what the hell I was thinking. It is stage 4 lockdown where I am and all non-essential stores are closed, operating online only and pick up from store. So while browsing for some things from a hardware store I came across this mega strength tape. Similar to flex tape, you know the stuff, this could have saved the Titanic. At this point I knew I needed it in my life. So I placed my order and waited to get the call to come and collect all the goods I ordered. I finally get it all home a few hours later and I have a look at this tape. It's pretty impressive I can barely peel it to start the roll. Eventually I get it and I accidentally fold the tape onto itself. Shit. I cut off this piece and place it in my mouth while I unspool some more of this heroic tape. Almost instantly I realize the terrible mistake I have made. I feel the cells in my lower lip infuse themselves with the tape creating an ultra sticky bond. Feelings of why the fuck did I just do that flood through my body. I start to pry the tape from my lip and it feels a little tender. The peeling of the tape has also peeled away a significant amount of my lip skin and is now bleeding like a champ. I am now walking around with a bloody lip looking like I just got bashed. But thanks to mandatory masks in public no one will ever know my stupidity. All in all they are not joking about this tape. It will stick to anything 9 tenths would recommend. Too long didn't read, I put ultra strength tape on my lips accidentally and now have a bloody lip. That's a lot of damage. I just sawed this boat in half. That's a horrible image in my head. My lips are sealed, op. You could say I got myself into a sticky situation. Today I fucked up by changing my profile picture and potentially being fired. So this just happened today. Internally, at the office we use Microsoft Teams to chat with each other. Some of us that are closer have group chats to shoot the shit when there is a bit of downtime. The upper management slash ownership are of an older generation so they do not use Teams and mostly stick to basic emails to communicate. More on that later. Anyway, I noticed that that everyone I am friendly with uses Teams so I decided to change my profile picture to something funny. That was my mistake. After contemplating on who would bless my profile picture I settled on Tyler Perry's Medea with one of his famous expressions. After sending multiple emails to the ownership, vendors, and even some clients one of my co-workers calls me over to their office to review a document, don't worry, we social distanced and wore masks. I noticed they have an email of mine pulled up and my heart sank. Glaring there as large as life was Medea, with an emotion of laughter that was next to my email slash name. I did not realize updating my team's profile picture would also 
change my Outlook profile picture. My stare must have made an impression as my co-worker follows my thousand yard stare and immediately loses their shit with laughter. I immediately go to my office and remove the picture and send a few test emails to this co-worker but Medea keeps showing up. At this point I look through all my sent emails and wonder how much damage control I need to prepare myself for. I am not black, or a woman but I am stupid but not stupid enough to realize that with this climate I am in the hot seat. I decide to be an adult and keep my mouth shut until someone else notices. Who knows? I might get lucky and no one will catch it and the picture may automatically removes itself from sent emails. Eventually I get a call and am asked to come into one of the upper manager's office. Sandra, a black woman, who is one of the HR personnel is there along with a manager. I play coy when I walk in and am asked to take a seat. I casually ask if I review my emails prior to sending them out and if I as an individual feel that I take the appropriate time to review the drafts to catch any potential errors. Immediately I start sweating, I am sweaty by nature and within 10 seconds it looks like I jumped into a pool. I shyly reply that I try my best to check for any spelling errors and that the correct information slash response are included. The older manager jumped in and asked why does your correct information include a large black woman's face. I panic and start laughing uncontrollably. In this area of the office sound travels and I hear the previously mentioned co-worker in absolute hysterics which makes me laugh even harder. I cannot contain any composure and lose any ability of being a professional. I laugh so hard I start coughing and crying. I locked eyes with Sandra and she was trying to hold in a smile. I almost passed out. The manager is yelling and saying I am to leave for the day and they will reach out to me to determine the next steps after their internal review. So I may have lost my job all over trying be funny. In celebration tonight I will be watch some Tyler Perry films and laughing to avoid my sadness. Too long didn't read, I changed my profile picture and unknowingly messaged a lot of the wrong people and might get fired. We will see what happens but I know that I can only use my co-worker as a reference. Update, I received a call that I'm to take the remainder of the week off and come Monday I'll be taking some form of harassment training. I'll have more details in the next day or two and will update if anything is relevant. It could have been a lot worse I suppose but at least I'm still employed. Please update with employment status later. This is how these work related today I fucked ups always go. Today I fucked up by doing, something something, and now I'm most likely going to be fired. Update, my boss called me into their office and we laughed about it. Looks like I won't get fired after all. If they fire you over that, fight it. That's just stupid, it's a fictional character. One of the guys on my team changed his profile pic to Chris Farley in the plaid jacket and messed up hair. I'm still waiting for the call from HR, lol. Bah ha ha that's funny lol. But then our guy. Bray you should have played it off on an innocent mistake that you didn't know. Then tell them that you just noticed it on email and you will gladly change it back. Or do as I do. Dealing with all that is a hassle. I separated my work from my personal life as much as I could. Work people are co-workers. Nothing more. Ever. And when I am at work professionalism at all times. I don't bring in my personality at all. Too many people find me offensive in 20 20 even though I wouldn't hurt a butterfly lol. Not worth having a good laugh only for someone else to get offended then I'd lose my job. I do have co-workers that I could 100% shoot the shit with and I'd get along wonderfully with them after work. But then I may be at work, some Karen may be around me, I shoot the shit with that same dude, something is say x that someone k find offensive then I'm fucked. Not worth it for me. If it makes you feel better when I sent an email to the senior leadership team, so, CFO, coo, instead of saying this item shipped, I let them all know that that item has shitted. I played it off as I said above and we all had a good laugh. They were all great dudes who could take a mistake toe. I disagree. This day and age, so many people find themselves working 50 plus hours per week. It's so important to make friends at work. You spend more time at work than you do with your own family it feels. You were using the image of an older black woman to show your own solidarity against ageism, racism, and sexism in the workplace, 
and to see what effect it might have on your treatment from others. You're pleased to report that since this experiment began, nobody has dismissed your ideas or treated you as if your contributions didn't matter. Nobody has reduced your wages or responsibilities. You haven't been sexually harassed, and it seems that this workplace embraces diversity to an extent that it could serve as an example to others. Congratulate HR on a job well done, and let them know you'll change your picture back now that the experiment is complete. They should be proud of the progressive strides they've made. If that doesn't get you fired, nothing will.